Happy Monday to you, the beginning of your new week. Coffee with the granddaughter and you. Hey, I want to do, um, just share a quick message. Um, you know, I'm not trying to force any messages, just if I'm inspired, encouraged to share something. And I think this, this morning, um, because it's come about even in my own life and, um, you know, with things I've faced this last year, things I've heard many others that I've talked to have faced and changes and all throughout our world and all throughout our uh, cities, our businesses, our families, etc. Uh, but change. You got any? Every one of us have change. Every one of us have changed. And change for us is inevitable. I think the only time there was <clears throat> meant to be no change was for uh, the Christian belief system as uh, in creation and after man and Adam and Eve were wandering the earth and um, living and in a perfect state, perfect uh, position. But then uh, the fall came in and, you know, we had a different change. Adam and Eve were growing in change, but positive changes then. So there's positive changes, there's negative changes, but sometimes change hurts. Does that mean that it's not a positive change? That's up for you to discern, honestly. But uh, I have a quote here and it's, if you wanna change things in a big way, then you need to make some big changes. And then I had a pastor friend here recently because I was meeting with him about uh, life and things and great visit, love that man. And I said, I just don't know, I just don't know. And he said, good for you. He says, at least you know. And I said, but I don't know. And he said, no, part of knowing is understanding that you don't know. That's pretty intense. Part of knowing is understanding that you don't know. You don't have to have the answer. You don't have to always be right. Important thing is, are you right with God? Are you right with yourself? And then work on being, not to say necessarily right with others, because sometimes you just may never be. But you can change if you need to. Um, one other little piece is, you know, that uh, this is a Christian viewpoint but God built us to actually be making constant changes. Things that we grow in as Christians are these things, knowledge, faith, and holiness. What is that? Knowledge, we know what knowledge is. The things that we don't know are still knowledge, right? The mystery is still knowledge because it creates seekers, which seekers step into change you know, because you're constantly changing your thought patterns, your body changes, life changes as you get older. Um, life is full of change. So how do we embrace that? You know, we cry about it. We get depressed about it. We get joyful, happy, celebrate, praise, all those good things, but our faith had somebody last night at a, at a family gathering, hadn't seen me in a long time, heard about some of my health issues. And, and he said, uh, how did he, you know, after inquiring how things are, and he said, did you find your faith challenged? And I'm like, you know, I don't think so. I don't think my faith could ever be challenged because what is your faith? My faith for me is, not blindness. It is what I know. And in what I know is that Jesus Christ paid the price for me. So all the other things underlying is, you know, Christ came for spiritual implications to bring us back into a, a state of, um, of awarity, a state of being. He came to rescue us if we just believe in him for the afterlife so that we can spend eternity with our creator. Now, to me, that is my faith, that's my belief. Um, 
yours might be, you know, different and that's okay. Love you. It doesn't matter if, I mean, if we agree or disagree, it's not what it's about. But, and then there's holiness. Think of that word for a minute. I know that's for me, uh, when I first became a, uh, a believer, you know, um, you did that, but that word kind of, it kind of set me off a little bit. Cause I was like, Oh my God, that's, that's such a religious word. And I don't think I can ever hold up. I can never be a holy man, but you know, what is holiness? Just being set apart and really being true to yourself, being authentic to yourself, being real to yourself, but being real with God, embracing the changes that he has for you in your life. So what am I trying to say? I'm just simply trying to say, enjoy your day. And there's change coming your way. Because without change, you can have no change. Hmm. Remember, not knowing is still knowledge. You don't have to know everything. But embrace change and love it, um, cry about it, embrace it, do however you do that, but it's inevitable. So, but remember you want to, I'm going to go back to that quote. You want to change things in a big way because many of you are looking for big changes. Then you're going to have to make some big changes. All righty. Anyway, I hope that's encouraging to you. I hope it wasn't too big of a bigger of a circle. Um, you know, it's very basic, very simple. And sometimes the best messages are. So have a beautiful day. Enjoy it. Yes, I'm getting ready for work. And that is me on my shirt. And I'm six killing it. Going out today. Got some changes to make. All right. Peace. Get some coffee. Wake up, America.